<laughs> I didn't believe you. <laughs> guys so we got to modify the tube down here a little bit just below the uh, sensor we'll just cut the tube off and we'll put a tight uh, angle on it but the LS is in on the mounts I got to tighten down the engine mounts but the bell housing bolts are done passenger side exhaust manifolds on and clears intakes on with new gaskets and uh, yeah, I got to do the torque converter bolts underneath and put in my speed sensor and connect the exhaust. I might, uh, I'll, I'll wait on that. I'll get it fired up first before I connect the exhaust. And yeah, we got lots more to do. It's going to be a couple more days, but uh, she fits in there like a glove. No need for any oil pan, no need for any extras. Uh, if you look down here, I tapped that port for the factory uh, 1980 Chevy oil pressure sensor because this does have full gauges and be nice for the factory gauges to work. We're not running Dakota Digital or anything like that. And as well for the back coolant port, I don't know if you can see the hole, but uh, we're going to uh, put an adapter in there and the 1980 Chevy electric coolant temp sensor as well. This this truck had mechanical gauges on it and where I could use those I'm really not interested I'd like to have the factory stuff working as accurately as we can alright so that's gonna do it for tonight uh, it is Monday October 3rd uh, about 10:30 at night we're gonna call her good there and uh, we want to uh, gonna get some rest got some work in the morning Got a couple jobs to do through the week here actually, so uh, we'll be getting back on this on Wednesday evening or Thursday. But, thanks for watching guys, and we'll, uh, we'll get this video out to you so you can see what our progress is and how things are coming along. Please comment if you like what you see, and remember to subscribe and all the things. And yeah, thank you very much. Have a good night.